Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com and in this video we're going to take a look at how to add a library, uh, a library that's already not in the native access list to Contact 7 and also some of the searching problems you may not realize you're going to have when you search for a given attribute of your libraries. So, and I'll explain why that is. So here we go. Let's start with adding a library. So first of all, we click up here, which reveals the all of the libraries you have. And then here is which you click on to add or import content. So notice I've already added a few things. Uh, the glory days where orchestral tools an 8DO library, which will not show up in any of your, uh, in any of these libraries in Contact 7, and a few others. Uh, Project Bravo, which is great for trailers. Um, new Hybrid Tools, another great library from 8DO for that, as well as uh, some Keep Forest stuff. And I've just really started to get some of these libraries in that were, that were not included or scanned because they don't, they're not in the native access application because they don't require native access serial codes. So how do we add a library? Let's just go ahead and click on add. Then you want to go to the drive where you want to add a library, I'll go ahead and go to a library called Extra SSD. And the library I'm going to add is Orchestral Tools Berlin Woodwinds Expansion C, which does not, which is not a, it doesn't have a native access license code. So it doesn't show up in native access. So I just click on the actual folder, click open, and then click, click close. And that's all there is to it. Now, in order to see that we got it, let's go ahead and search for uh, orchestral tools. And there's the expansion. I already had added expansion A and B. There's expansion C. And these are the presets. There's 42 presets in it. It's basically a wood wind library with some instruments I didn't include in the Berlin woodwinds. They added these on later. So you have a solo bass, solo bassoon, clarinet, flute, bass clarinet, and uh, and then different articulations of those sounds. So a total of 42. If I, now, if I click on it once, it does an addition because it's not, the library hasn't been updated for quite some time. So now if I double click on it, it will invoke the DAW. So there's your potato short. So that's how you add a library. Now, why did I say that you have to be careful when searching for attributes? Let's go to the file. We'll go ahead and uh, click on Orchestral Woodwinds Expansion C. And then we'll go ahead and cancel out the search for orchestral tools. So now we have all of our libraries that are available. So right now there's 81,336 presets. Now. As we see, we have a sound type, which is ambience, bass, bass synth, and all these various attributes. And then we have a character, airy, additive, and so on. Now, in my last video, I noticed that when I typed in ambient, that I didn't really get that many. I only got two libraries. Well, I didn't type it in. I just clicked the ambience, and we only got these two libraries. And that's strange. The libraries that are in the library, in my library, I should have more than two that have ambience. So the way to get around that is you search 
you don't rely on these sound types and characters. You search for whatever keyword you want. So if I go ambience, then notice I come up with 767 presets. I could also just search for ambient. Now I have a thousand that have the word ambient in the uh, preset description in some way. For example, I just arbitrarily picked this one here. And then I want to find out what library that is. I click on information and it's gravity. Okay. And if I double click on it, then we actually see the library. And so it's the descriptor ambient applies. Okay, so let's close this out. There. Okay, so all my presets came back. I had to basically get rid of the ambient filter. Now, why is it that when we when we use the sound type ambience, we only get like 255, and when we type in ambience, we get probably 4,000. So again, if I type in the same word, we got almost, well, 767 ambience. And the reason is not all of the libraries are coded according to sound type or character. Now, libraries are not coded with sound type and character. Uh, one of them, is the uh, Spitfire libraries. Some of them, possibly all. So if we just click on Ambient or uh, Albion Neo and pick a patch, look at the information. Okay, we have the, the library name. But if we look at the tags, we do have both strings and ensemble. Okay, but we don't have any character attributes. Okay, now if I look at a, an older Spitfire library, for example, if we look at the uh, Symphonic Brass, nothing. We have the name of the library, but nothing is tagged at all, not even brass. Tags are empty. Okay, it auditions, but they haven't gone through and tagged their library. Symphonic strings. Okay, here's a violin one. Okay, here we have sound type. So they've done it with, with that library. Okay, what about evolutions? Okay, they have it there too, woodwinds. Okay, we do have a flute. So they're doing sound type, but no character in their descriptors are fairly um, limited. So that's why, and there are other libraries that where you run into the same thing. If I, here's a library I added, and notice there's no tags or sound type. Here's another one I added. If I pick a patch, there's no tags whatsoever. So the older libraries sometimes have limited tags or no tags in terms of um, in terms of sound type or character. So that's primarily what I want to uh, mention. Here's percussion. So here's an anvil. So properties, tags, nothing. Well, the property gives you the, the uh, file name, but there's no sound type at all. And instead of just picking on 
Spitfire, let's take a look at Berlin Strings. So here's uh, one of their libraries. And notice nothing in terms of tags, character, or sound type. And also, if I just do a general orchestral tools, If we go to Berlin Woodwinds, we do have properties of name, tags, nothing. And if we go to time macro, then we have the sound type and we even have a couple of character parameters filled in. So I'm hoping that eventually uh, these libraries will get their tags added. Here's uh, Metropolis Arc 1. It has some, some tags and sound types, character and sound type. And uh, Metropolis 4, you would think, does would too. Yeah, they've added more sound types. They've added a couple more in the uh, character. So that basically is what I wanted to alert you to, so when you're doing a search for, let's say, a flute, suppose I want to go to sound type flute. So I have 1,345 presets. But that's only for the libraries that have been tagged with sound type a flute. So if I take that off and I go... I search all the presets for flute. Notice I have 1,841. So we're missing almost 500 patches that have flutes in them. So this is Bill McFadden. I hope you found this video informative. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will be adding other things as they come up relative to this new release of Contact 7. So Bill McFadden, signing off from TomePure.com.